Maybe I'm missing something here, but everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. Well, he was. And now he's pure evil, trying to kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand this shit. Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. Oh, I will. I will. You wait out here, Tifa. No way! I want to go too! Please? Sorry, no civilians. Even if we weren't on a mission. Come on! Keep the young lady safe. Carry on. Ugh. You better keep me safe. Expected to be all systems go. You'd think it'd be running at reduced output, like most last gen models. Then let me guess. Pillagers don't have a clue about this. Knowing Shinra? Of course not. The company really needs to be more transparent. Tell that to the president. What exactly is the problem in this place? The people in charge. While most reactors are under the jurisdiction of urban planning, this one is overseen by RD. Huh. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about this? Whatever you see here, you are not to speak of it. Oh, I won't. Something I think is worth pointing out is, in the present day, as Cloud is recounting the story, Tifa is obviously, like, depressed. Of course she's going to be. She's hearing the story being told from somebody who really shouldn't know it about her um, village being destroyed and everybody she ever cared about dying. So, of course, she's going to be depressed about that. But there's also something, a little something of note, though. As she's sitting there... She can't look Cloud in the eye. She's looking down. She's, I guess she's looking to Aerith a little bit here and there, but she's not looking up at Cloud. She's not meeting him in the eye because from her perspective, something is very wrong here. And I guess maybe she doesn't want to give away the fact that she doesn't believe what he's saying, even though he seems to be telling a lot of things that he shouldn't know. You'd like to say a few words to your sword first? something. What are those things? Genova? Wasn't that... must be forcing the pods to depressurize. Cloud, go out and shut off the valve. Copy. I am so pleased by the fact that they did not try to sort of insert the, um, the crisis core 
retcons into this because during the during Crisis Core they had and created a number of new characters and put them into the story and they had during that during this scene in Crisis Core they had the character of Genesis show up and talk with Sephiroth which pissed me off to realize that they were screwing with the canon of the story to that degree of course the remake trilogy is screwing with the canon but it seems to be doing it very deliberately not as a way of like oh no we're just writing our own characters into this the remake trilogy seems to be the story of the game is the fact that the story is changing but yeah they left genesis out here and that's a good thing What are you doing? These pods were built for the production of artificial materia. But Hojo repurposed them as incubators. Cages for animals. And shields with Mako. All to birth a new breed of monster. But he didn't stop at animals. Oh no. There were other subjects. Look. Eventually, we went back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Huh? Hmm? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going. was wrong there tiva did in fact look up and meet cloud's gaze for a few seconds but for the most part she was sort of avoiding looking him in the eye and it seems to have only been after she started uh inputting some of her own story into there and it was kind of a weird little interaction they had there like he says like oh they went back and then tifa says oh yeah the mayor was so upset because he wanted to have dinner with the soldiers and cloud just sort of goes huh like it's it's a piece of the story that he didn't know, I suppose, because he wasn't there. And it sort of threw him off for a second. And then she, like, has that kind of same response back to him, like, huh? <laughs> like, it's a, it's a little bit weird, and maybe that's the that's my interpretation of it. That Cloud was thrown by somebody adding something to the story, and then Tifa had sort of like a equally puzzled reaction to his reaction. 
we have the Shinra Mansion up here? Never really real... Uh, hold on. Shinra Manor was the biggest building in town. And older than the reactor. The company used to conduct research there, back when they were still a small manufacturer. Even so, the rent on that plot was basically what kept the village afloat. It never really made a lot of sense, the nature of the Genova experiment, because they had taken Genova out of this the ground and believed that her she was an ancient, and then stuck her in this reactor off in the Nibelheim Mountains that was completely unmanned. As far as we can tell, there was nobody working there. So who was running the experiment? Who was doing what with this? But they do show that Shinra did have a presence in this village from a long-ass time ago, and this mansion is the proof. And they add a little bit of detail saying, like, oh, yeah, well, Shinra still was here, and they still paid rent on the mansion. So it was more or less like what kept the town solvent. But in the, the mansion seems to have fallen apart, though someone's still lighting candles and paying electric bills. <laughs> Shut up, cat. My cat's uh, running around the room, meowing at me. It didn't make any sense, though, that they'd have the Genova project out here not being manned. And then they had the all of the notes from Genova and Sephiroth and all that kind of stuff just sitting in the Shinra mansion. Even though it appears as though this place hadn't been manned in quite a number of years. They had the... Um, they had the laboratory in the basement, but it didn't look like anybody was working there anymore. And not until after after Sephiroth burned the place down did they have anybody doing any experiments here again. So it doesn't make any sense why. But, you know, it is a video game, and there are certain sort of cognitive leaps that you have to make to sort of just accept things as the way they are. Oh, those are the tubes that... Cloud and Zack are going to be jammed in. Yep. Door we can't get through. That means there's going to be a dungeon here later. And that big room we walk through is going to be a boss battle arena. Hmm. Alright, here we go. Excavated from a 2,000 year old rock layer. A life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. M E G L 77 1977. Genova. Verified as an ancient. Uh, M E G L 913 1977. Genova project approved. So, they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, they grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth. What you got there? Leave me be. And that was it. He stayed holed up in the basement. Reading reading like a man possessed. 